Hey there, I'm Monica Poole, a quilter to go pattern designer and sewing tutor from Australia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join quilted blocks together using the joining strip method. The joining strip method is great for beginners and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. To start with, I'm going to show you the traditional method where it has some hand stitching on the back. Then I'm gonna show you my way where I sew it all by machine. And I'm gonna show you some of my top tips to help you perfect this method, so make sure you stick around. This is a method that we've used in our beginner's sampler quilt. This is an online course where we teach you how to piece, applique, quilt, and join our blocks together. It's perfect for beginners. If you're interested, the link is in the description. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to use 12 and a half inch patchwork blocks that I've already quilted together with the batting and backing. So these blocks are called the Ohio Star, we've got the X Plus block, and we've also got the Rolling Stone block. For this method, we're going to need a one inch strip for the front, and we're going to need an inch and a half strip for the back that we're going to press in half lengthwise with the wrong sides facing. So the first thing you need to do is to position your back folded strip right sides together with the edge that you want to join. So here I have got my raw edges and they are level with the raw edge of the block. I like to start with my strips being a little bit longer so I just extend the same amount over each edge. I'm then going to flip it over to the front and I'm going to take my top strip and I'm going to put that right sides together on the same edge and I'm going to pin all of those layers together in the one go. I'm now going to head to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew that with an exact quarter inch seam allowance. To achieve an exact quarter inch seam, use a quarter inch foot. If you don't have a quarter inch foot, head to your local sewing machine store. I'm going to use a quarter inch attachment that snaps on to my walking foot. When your strips are sewn on, we've got our strip on the back and then we have our strip on the front. Trim them level with the top and bottom edge of your seam. So the next step now is to flip your top strip over to the right side. You can give that a little bit of a finger press and then we're going to flip it over so that it is now right sides together. So our blocks are both right sides together and we have our strip right sides together with our other block. If you're using a standard quarter inch foot, you would place your pins in where you have the strip on the top. But because I'm using my wider quarter inch foot, I'm actually gonna flip it over and I'm going to pin with the strip on the underneath. Now sew the seam with a quarter inch seam allowance. Here's our second seam sewn and then all you have to do is open it out and this is what it looks like on the top. You've got a nice neat half inch wide strip and on the back all we have to do now is fold our back strip over to meet the stitching line and that's going to get hand stitched in place. Here's my two blocks joined together, hand stitched on the back. It's very neat, but now let's speed up that process and do it my way, all by machine. And I'm also gonna start showing you my tips to perfect this method along the way. So this time we're also going to use a one inch strip for the top, but on the back we're going to have a strip that is one and three quarter inches wide. So here's my first tip. Every time you cut a strip of fabric across the fabric from selvage to selvage, it's going to have a little bit of stretch in it. So stiffen your strips up with some spray starch. I'm using Mary Ellen's Best Press. This also gives your fabric a little bit more body and makes it easier to handle. 
Once again, press the back strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides facing. The next tip is to use a fabric glue pen. I'm using the Soline brand. When we go to position our back strip on, I actually find it a little bit fiddly having to pin that and then flip it over and pin the other side. So, just working in the quarter inch seam allowance, I like to put a couple of dabs of glue, just like that. I then position my strip. Once again, I have a little bit extending out either end and I've got my raw edges aligned with the edge of the block. I smooth that in place. Then I'm going to flip it over to the right side. I then take my front strip and then once again, I use just that little bit of glue, just a dab here and there. And I then position my top strip with the right side facing and all of my raw edges aligned. Once again, smoothing that down into place. Now, just to make sure that everything stays in place, I now pop a few pins through all layers. And now I'm going to head to the sewing machine to sew my quarter inch seam allowance. Here is my top strip and my back strip sewn onto the edge of my block. Using the glue pen means that I know that my edges are all going to be nice and level and spray starching the fabrics means that it's going to prevent stretching as I sew. Trim your strips level with the top and edges of your block. Next step is to flip the top strip over and place that right sides together with my other block. And once again, just to make sure my strip is nice and level, I'm going to use a couple of dabs of glue in the seam allowance. Now, if you were using a normal quarter inch foot, you would sew with your strip on top, but I have my quarter inch attachment on my walking foot. So once again, I'm going to flip over and I'm going to have the back facing up and I'm going to pin and sew the same. Here's our second seam sewn. Open that out and we have a nice, neat, half inch wide strip on the top. Give that a press and then we're going to flip it over to the back and you can see why it's so important to take that exact quarter inch seam. So therefore your edges of your blocks will be meeting right in the center. Now this time when we press our strip over, it's going to slightly cover the stitching line. And it's gonna cover the stitching line by about an eighth of an inch. I'm now going to use the glue pen again, and I'm just going to run that glue pen along the seam allowance, making sure that it doesn't go past the stitching line. And then I'm going to smooth that strip over just like that. Flip your work over to the right side and pin in the ditch just to catch the edge of the strip in. Flip over to the back, make sure that you have caught the edge of the strip in and now I'm going to head to the sewing machine and stitch in the ditch. Stitch in the ditch, catching the strip in on the underneath side. To do this you can use a walking foot or an open toe foot. I'm actually going to use a stitch in the ditch attachment that I've snapped on to my walking foot. the third block joined on with a nice neat half inch strip running in between. Looks just like our other strip that's been sewn by hand. Only difference is on the back you'll see a machine stitching line holding our back strip down. So you might think that gluing and pinning is a little bit over the top but this tip is really going to help you when you're joining larger sections of your quilt together. Don't worry if you don't have the machine attachments that I have, just use what you've got. But I like to show these things just so that you know what's out there. If you want to know more about Quilt As You Go, click the link down below. We've got our online beginner sampler quilt course. 
We've got ebooks and we've also got PDF patterns that you can easily download and get started today. If you want to join the Pattern Pool family, click the big red button below. I'm loving making these videos for you. And if you'd like to get more inspiration and connect with us, please join our private Facebook group. If you enjoyed this video, we think you might enjoy this one here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.